When I was a kid, my father told me, my daughter, you are a black girl. You have to work twice as a white girl. And my mother told me, my daughter, you are a woman. You have to work three times more than a man. What? <laughs> it's a scam? <laughs> what is it? And it took me 25 years to understand what my parents wanted me to be prepared for. So let's begin with a quick question. Um, to be honest and by applause, who has ever felt that he doesn't belong? Okay, wow. <laughs> Normally I like applause, but then <laughs> okay. We are all in the same in the same thing. We have all the same feeling. Um me, my story of that is that um when I was a li little, I I wanted to become an actress. I wanted to be in famous movies. Um when I was a kid, I, I dream uh, about playing the role of Mary in the living nativity, um, but um, I was always playing Balthazar. But anyway, I kept my dreams on, and um, I, I went to a very big school, theatre school in Paris, the Cours Florent, and after my studies, I passed a lot of castings, but I never fit in any boxes. I remember once, I met a casting director, and I arrived for the casting. Hello, my name is Cecile. I'm here for the role of the Belgian girl. Hi, okay, perfect. Can you do the text again with the African accent? Oh, why? She's Belgian. Yeah, but she's black. Yeah, but she's Belgian. Yeah, but she's black. Yeah, but... Sorry, do you really think that all African people talk like that. You want me to talk like that? Is that you want? You want me to? You want me to do this all? Is that you want? You want me to walk like that? Is that you want? <laughs> you know what? I got the role. Yeah, it was my first role on movies, my last, because I decided that I doesn't want it to play this kind of role. I was feeling humiliated. I was feeling rejected. Why my, the color of my people will be a problem to do my job? And I understood my parents' world. I understood what I was for the society. And this day that I understood that, I begin to I begin to, to tell me, okay, Cecile, you don't have to wait to have a role. Just create your own role. And so I decided to write my own story. I decided to, to write my difference. I made jokes about my difference. And since the day I choose to assume myself, my personality, and my choices, I begin to work a lot. And I understood who I was for the society. Okay, I was black. I, I am black. <laughs> <laughs> Not changed. <laughs> a woman? Belgian? Not even French? No, Belgian and proud of that? <laughs> you? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, was, I am a poor artist. Imagine if above that I was Muslim, trans, and rough. I, I think that when you have more than one discrimination, you should have financial support, I think. <laughs> um, and so um, I think that 
you have to assume yourself and cultivate your personality to transform your weakness into strength. You have to be proud of who you are because everybody is unique and you are beautiful. No matter what they say. <laughs> Sorry, but for me. <laughs> but yes, you are not alone. We are not alone in this world. We have to be conscious of our image so we can use it. We can use it as a string. And no matter the color of your skin, no matter your origin, no matter um, your sexual orientation, no matter your religions, no matter if you're a boy. Boy, make some noise. Yeah? Is that all? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, girl, make some noise. Okay. There are some bus girl here? Yeah? Okay, boys, you have to be very worried about these warriors there. And that's my, that was my first lesson about self-confidence. The second lesson that I learned with my parents was about never giving up your goals. I want to tell you a story. Once upon a time, um, <laughs> yes, it's, it's beautiful like that. Once upon a time, um, I was uh, invited to a comedy contest festival here in Belgium, a very big festival in Rochefort. And uh, it was in the beginning of my career, I was not ready for that. I was very stressed, I was feeling sick, I was, you know, I was a mess. And I go on stage and uh, nobody love. Nobody, it's like, pfft, fell flat. You know, it's like, um, imagine like Beyonce arrive on stage, and say, who want to go? And nobody says, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, it was like that. <laughs> and so um, I walk out the stage, I cry. Uh, and then a member of the jury came to see me in the backstage. Uh, it's Chantal Latsou, it's a very famous French comedian, and I, I was very impressed because I admire her. And so she came to me, speak to me nicely, and she said, uh, oh girl, it's a shit. Not funny at all. But you know what? Me, 20 years ago, I was here in this festival. I was a mess, completely shit. But look at me now. I am the president of the jury. So girl, just, when you fall, you learn. So get up and stop to crying and drink beer is better. <laughs> it's real, it's a real story. And um, so first, uh, I was a bit scared of her. <laughs> but she helped me so much because um, I, I do what she did. I worked very hard, very hard. And... Um, Today, my show is an opening show of this festival, four years later. So, it's, I, was, I am proud of that, but with the coronavirus and the COVID uh, lockdown, the festival is cancelled, so uh, I want to go back in my hole, I think <laughs> it's the same. But um, I learned from my theaters, I learned from that, and so I think that everybody should go forward. Go forward. You are your own mother. Nobody can drive your life for you. Nobody can do that. Be ambitious. Be creative. Dare to dream. Dare to dream big, very big, and fight for it. Believe in yourself. Um, something, sometimes your singularity will bother people. Don't pay attention. Use it. Use it for you. And I think that um, we should be our own <laughs> murderer. And be faithful to yourself because um, when you trust you, you will we, you never be disappointed of you. And I think that you should be patient and be kind with yourself. Celebrate victory, even if it's small. 
There is no little victory. Be proud of you, value you. Um, I want to do something with you now. I want you to reflect about something you are proud of. And we are going to scream out loud, everybody together. Um, I will start. Um, me today, I am proud because uh, uh, I am the first black waiter presenter in Belgium. Uh, I'm proud because uh, uh, at home I raise a little boy, my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, I'm proud uh, because uh, well, I, I, make a, I made a tour of, one, of more than 100 shows all around the world. Uh, today I have my own TV show, my own talk show on TV. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> I am proud because um, I recently I convinced the Belgian Minister of Education, Miss Caroline Désir, to make evolve the school programs about Belgian colonization in Congo. Uh, I thought that it was important because uh, Belgium is a multicultural country and everybody should find his place in it. So me, little black girl, to, I, I, I succeed to manage, to, to make, um, evolve a government, it's crazy. So I believe in me, so you believe in you. And um, I think what I'm most proud of is that today I am an independent woman and I think that's my parents wanted me to, to do. So, you. What are you proud of? I let you 30 seconds to think about it. And after we will scream, everybody. Okay, tick tack, tick tack, tick tack, tick tack, tick tack. Perfect about it. Take, take some seconds. What you are proud of in your life, personal or professional. Okay? Are you ready? Yeah? Okay. One, two, three. That is me. Uh, woo! <laughs> I understand everything. <laughs> okay. It's not easy. Huh? It's not easy to, to, to find an idea because we used to think about what is wrong with us. And not, uh, but we have to, to, to think more for, of the positivity of the things. I, I do this exercise every day before going to sleep and I think you should try it because it helps me to keep positive energy and to, to keep self-confidence and I sleep well too. <laughs> and so I think you should try it. And I want to end with a, a quote of a famous philosopher, not Jean-Claude Van Damme, a philosopher, I said, uh, Oscar Wilde. Be yourself, everyone else is already taken. So thank you and one love. Thank you. Thank you.